Hey there, home learners. Welcome back. Today, I have a special project for us to do together. You know, Father's Day is coming up very soon, and I thought that we could make our fathers, our dads, something nice to remind them how special they are to us. So I have put together a little project that we can do together. I call it the My Dad mini book. And we're going to make the book together and then write down all the reasons that our dads are special to us for Happy Father's Day. Won't that be fun? All right, so you guys get to come along with me. Now, I've given you some materials, but if you don't have them, look in the description and you can find the file and download it and just print it yourself. It's very simple. All right, so let's get ready to make our My Dad mini books. The first thing you need to do is find the paper right here that I gave you or you've printed off with all the boxes. And we're going to use our scissors to cut around the outside all the way. There's a gray line you'll see around the whole thing. And I want you to cut really nicely along that line. So that way, no matter how it's printed, it will come out and fold right. So let's take a look. I brought some students along to help us uh, and they're gonna show us how to do it. Now remember, while you're cutting, you wanna go nice and slow along the gray line and go all the way around the four corners. So then you have a perfectly cut and ready to fold paper. All right, good job. Okay, let's move on now. You're gonna turn your paper to the side so it's up and down the long way. We call this hot dog style because it's long like a hot dog. So you're going to fold it down the middle and there's our middle line right there like a hot dog. Now make sure that you make that crease with your finger. Yep, gotta make the crease all the way down so it's nice. Great, okay, let's take a look. You can open that paper back up. Now, we're going to do the other way. This time we're gonna fold it hamburger style across the middle. So it'll be the short way, like that. Go ahead and do that now. Fold it like a hamburger and remember to make those creases with your fingers. Push on the line so the paper folds nice. Easy, okay. Now we're going to take our hamburger and we're gonna fold it one more time as another hamburger. So down this line here, that's the middle, fold that over again so those corners touch. Now make sure that those corners line up well because if you do a good job with this part, then your book will look really nice. All right. Good. All right, let's take that and open it one fold so it's still a halfway. Open that back up so it's halfway folded. And you'll, you're going to see a gray line right down the middle. There's a gray line there, and I want you to cut that line. But you have to stop in the middle. So you're going to cut down the gray line doot, 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 and stop right in the middle. Try that now. Just a little bit of cutting right down the middle. And then there you go. Okay, so now you have your um, booklet ready to be folded. So you can back open it up and you can fold it hot dog style again. And you'll notice that that hole that we cut, it opens up right here in the middle. So you can pinch the two sides and push them together and it'll make a little bit of a star. So go ahead and grab the two ends, push it together. There you go, to so make a little star. And now we get to fold it. So we're gonna put it down on the table. And um, I like to fold it page by page. Make sure it all lines up real nice and use your fingers to really, uh, as you go through each page, make sure that you crease it with your finger. Make a nice clean fold and try to get those corners to line up. They won't always line up, but uh, get as close as you can. All right, and then you should have the last page or the front cover that looks like that. Very cool, well done. All right, now that you've got your mini book, let's have a look at some of the things that we can write inside. Of course, you have the, the My Dad mini book and you can color that in. It says, reasons why my dad is very special to me. And I bet you, you have a lot of good reasons. Written and illustrated by, and put your name down here because it's your book. All right, so here's some examples of something that I've done. You draw a picture in the box, 
and then you can write along the line. And everyone starts with my dad. That's the fun part of the book. So this one says, and you can read along with me, my dad spends time with me. We play games and watch funny TV shows together on the sofa. And there we are. So that's something special that you can do with your dad. But you have to think of special things that you do with your dad and write them down. Don't just copy mine. But I'll give you some ideas. Let's look at another one right now. My dad teaches me new skills, like how to ride a bicycle or play catch. He is a good teacher. I bet your dad's a good teacher too. Okay, I've given you a list of a bunch of different ideas that you can use, but I want you to try to think of your dad and the special things that you guys do together or reasons that he's very special to you. You can write down your own ideas, but you can also have a look at this page to find, eh, get, some, get some help if you need. Okay, well, now you've got your mini book. You're ready to go. You're gonna do your writing and then draw those pictures and color it up nice and well done. Your fathers are going to love it. I know, it's gonna make them feel really special. So make sure that you finish it and give it to your dads for Happy Father's Day and good job. Come back and we'll do some more projects and more home learning here with me. Until next time, bye-bye. Thank you.